Okay, girls, so it's that time of month. Time for favorites again. And I'm kind of sad because this summer has gone by so fast. But I say that in every video, so I'll just shut up and get on with the actual favorites. Um, my first favorite is... Let's see. I'll just do a general one. And that's these... This... This... Um, Annabelle lipsticks. Um, I've had these for a while and have not, like, hardly touched them. Um, and I friggin' love them. Like, I started using them again. Like, this is the one that I'm wearing right now. And it's all, like, out of... deformed because <laughs> it got melted, but... I love this color. Uh, it's what I'm wearing now. It's just a really nice, like, nudie pink color. And then I really like that. And then I've got these two other ones. This one's... These are metallic ones, like frost ones. This one is still wearable. I haven't quite figured out what to do with this one yet. I don't think I've even worn it. Like, I've swatched it and that's it. But, these lipsticks are so moisturizing. And, like, for the price... So I think I pay, like, $4 each for these. They're, like, absolutely wonderful. So, if you do have the chance, if you're in Canada and you can check those out, I strongly, strongly recommend it. Uh, my next favorite, I'll do a nail polish just because it's here. Um, this is Orly... Um, Dreamboat. Um, I picked this up at Winners. It was like two dollars. It was on clearance. I got another one too. It's like a dark green one, which is nicer for fall. Um, but I picked this one up because I'm not allowed to wear nail polish at work. And this is nude enough that I can kind of like sneak by and nobody notices. Because <laughs> um, I do like wearing something on my nails at all times because I feel like it keeps them a lot more protected. And honestly, I mean, it's you need like three or four coats, but it's actually a really nice color. And it dries pretty quickly, so I'm actually impressed with this for, like, for two bucks. It's a pretty good deal. Um, let's see. I use this one. This is my Dream Matte Powder in Medium. But, um, I really do like it. It's, like, super, super matte. Like, you stick it on and it's there. It's matte. And I think I've already included this in probably last month's favorite, but I've been loving it because we've had some really weird weather. Yesterday it was pouring rain. Today it is absolutely gorgeous out and really warm so um, this has been like wonderful I just toss it in my purse if it gets really really warm I can just put it on and I'm good um another favorite and this I use it as an eye primer um but when I do use it as an eye primer I use it together with this which is my soft ochre paint pot um and it works it's I mean it's I like it I like it a lot um, but what I have been using it for recently, um, which has really made it an all-time favorite, is that I use it underneath my eyes. Um, I don't use it as a concealer. Like, I do put my concealer on top of it, because I use a really dark concealer for underneath my eyes. I use an NW25 under my eyes, so it's, like, really quite dark. Um, and that just, like, gets rid of the um, circles, because it's a little bit orangey-toned. And, um, but I put this underneath it, and it basically prevents any creasing. Like, it lasts so much longer. I still set it, and I set my, um, concealer under my eyes. I set it with a combination of these two. I take a fluffy brush, and I get a little bit of the mineral powder and a little bit of this one. But with this underneath, I find, like, it doesn't go anywhere. And I have a really big issue with my concealer and my foundation under my eyes uh, creasing. So that's been wonderful. And my last favorite this month, um, last but definitely not least, is the Fresh Firebird Mascara. Now this is just a little baby size. Um, I got this at Sephora, it was like 12 bucks or something um, for this and the Fresh Supernova. Um, the Supernova I haven't tried because I'm a huge fan of getting baby mascaras because it encourages me to throw them out more often, because otherwise I will hold on to the same mascara for like six months, and I know you're not supposed to do that. Um, but I've been absolutely loving this. It's like... I've got it on now. It's like just great on my lashes. It spreads them out. It gives them a little bit of volume, which I'm not a huge fan of volumizing mascaras. I do prefer length over volume. But I find this gives a nice little bit of both. And the best thing is, this is completely random, but some old guy came into my work the other day and he says, I like your eyelash. 
I'm like, oh, okay. But it was really cool, because it was like, this is, I think that was like, I had just started wearing it, and I was just trying it out, and I was totally in love with it, but that just made me even more in love with it. Like, for an old, like, in his 60s, he even said, he's like, tell your boyfriend an old guy commented on your eyelashes, which is kind of strange, but I just thought it was really cool. So, obviously, it looks good, and I friggin' love it. So, yeah, I strongly, strongly recommend you check out this mascara, um, if you have the option. I know it's really expensive, uh, and that makes me really sad, because I probably won't be able to buy the full size of it. But, well, anyways, we'll see. But, so far, I'm friggin', friggin' loving this. Just, there we go. Looks like that. Just a giant, giant brush. And it's super pretty. And, um, that's about it for my five favorites of the month. Um, don't want to overload you, so it's always going to be five. Unless there's something, like, super, super amazing, which there's usually not in my life, because I don't spend money, especially now. I'm kind of on a spending ban, so. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. There's a little thumbs up down there, a little subscribe thing up here. You can click on both if you like. And, um, I will see you in the next video. Ciao.